Yet, through sheer perseverance, his team developed their first prototype, the Type A engine, in 1934. The external pressures were just as immense. The 1930s were a time of global economic instability and looming conflict, with fierce competition from established foreign automakers. Imagine the emotional strain, carrying the weight of his father's legacy while risking it all on an unproven venture. This was Kichiro's crucible. Then came the climax. The turning point arrived when the vision began to solidify into a tangible enterprise. In 1933, Kichiro formally established the automotive production division within the Loom Works. A year later, the Type A engine roared to life, and by 1935, the first prototypes of the Model A1 passenger car and the Model G1 truck were completed. The final definitive moment came on August 28, 1937, when the automotive division was spun off to become an independent entity, Toyota Motor Corporation. The birth of this new company, emerging from the foundations of a loom business, was the culmination of Kichiro's relentless struggle. His vision was no longer a dream. It was a reality, setting the stage for Toyota to one day conquer the world. So, what can we learn from Kichiro Toyota's journey? His story is a powerful lesson in vision and courage. He refused the safe, predictable path, choosing instead to chase a future that only he could see. He showed us how to transform while respecting your roots, using the precision engineering of looms as the bedrock for world-class car manufacturing. But perhaps the most enduring lesson is about innovating for the long term. Instead of merely copying others, Kichiro focused on building a superior production process, the foundation of what would become the legendary Toyota production system. His story reminds us that true lasting success is rarely found in the easy choice but in the humble, audacious pursuit of a better way.